like any Filipino Chinese in the Philippines this is our comfort food I'm going to show you today how to make our Chinese lumpia let's get started here are the ingredients 2 thirds cup oil 1 tablespoon of chopped garlic 1 half cup of chopped onions 1 tablespoon chicken powder 2 tablespoons soy sauce 2 teaspoons salt or to taste 1 teaspoon vetsin optional 1 teaspoon white or black pepper and then enough water to cook 4 pieces bean curd or tokwa shredded or grated 1 half kilo sinkamas shredded 1 fourth kilo carrots shredded 1 half kilo bean sprouts and one small head of cabbage shredded. For the other ingredients, we need one cup of roasted peanuts, one third cup of sugar, lumpia wrapper, try to find unsalted, eggs, lettuce leaves or romaine, yansui or coriander, and tomato or banana ketchup. I grew up with my mother making Chinese lumpia during special occasions, like especially during Chinese New Year. Each family has their own version of the Chinese lumpia. I'm showing you my mother's version. My mom's version, by the way, uses meat, uh, pork, and shrimp. My version uses only vegetables, all right? But so you can add meat if you like. So you put oil, if you'll notice, I have a lot of oil here, but I'm not going to pour all of the oil. I will add it as needed. Then you have garlic. Onions. If you want to add meat, you add at this point. All right. Then after the meat, you add in the, the tokwa or we call this taukwa or bean curd. My mother taught me that if you want to make a lot of lumpia in big quantities, you have to, to saute the vegetables individually. So like tokwa, you saute the tokwa, then take it out, then saute the carrots, take it out, then saute the sinka mask, take it out. And then after that, you mix everything together. Tokwa is one ingredient that should always be present when you make the Chinese lumpia. By the way, the Chinese lumpia is from the south of China, uh, like shaman. And then I'm going to add in sinka mask. And then we're going to add in the carrots. And then we will now slowly add in the seasoning. I have chicken powder, a little soy sauce, black pepper, a little salt, and vetsin. If you don't like vetsin, just take it out, okay? When you add the seasoning, please remember, you should taste your wrapper. If your wrapper is salty, then you should reduce the salt in your filling. Then you can put a little water to cook. But if you don't need to, don't put water, okay? because we don't want the mixture watery. If you put water, maybe one or two tablespoons, just enough to cook. I'm going to add in our cabbage and our toge. And then all of the remaining seasoning, put it in. Okay. If it's sticking a little bit, you can add a little bit more oil. But if you can regulate the heat, you will notice you don't need the oil, okay? If you'll notice, I didn't add any water. Once the tauge and the cabbage are soft, you can take it out. Alright, here it's done. Very easy, right? Okay, what my mom would do she would transfer it to a steamer. A steamer, 
with no water underneath, okay? She uses the steamer just to drain the vegetables and at the same time to keep it warm, all right? So we'll put this in. Another ingredient for the Chinese lumpia is the egg, the cooked, the fried eggs. I will show you how my mom makes this. But of course, you can do it any way you want to. First, you heat the pan. I have here about six eggs, but it's up to you. You can add more eggs if you like. We usually like a lot of egg. Okay. We will cook this like a lumpia wrapper. So you put a little oil, just very little. Okay. Anyway, if you put a lot like this, and then you take out the extra, okay? This is a good way to practice also how to make a crepe since we're, uh, if you don't do it right, we, we are going to shred this anyway, okay? So, The idea here is to make a thin layer, a cook a thin layer of uh, eggs so that when you slice them, they look very nice and very fine. All right, once you see it's dry, I'm just waiting for this portion. And as you can see, there's oil so you can move it around. Okay, then you invert and you have one egg. Another component of the lumpia wrapper, which we love, is uh, the mixture of roasted peanuts and sugar. Okay. Okay, we'll check if it's fine enough. Yeah, this one is good. Okay. All right, this one, this is not in my mother's original recipe because my mother never liked anything which is spicy. So I'm going to show you how to make the hot sauce for this. So I have here, this is the drippings from cooking the uh, uh, filling, the vegetables. This is about one cup. I measured it, one cup. I'm going to add, uh, I'm using cassava starch or tapioca starch and then I'm going to add sriracha or you can add any hot sauce some they just use uh, a garlic paste you can do that too it depends on how hot you want it to be okay so and then all you have to do is bring this to a boil by the way I added one tablespoon of cassava starch or tapioca starch not one teaspoon sorry and then I also added some more sriracha or it depends on how hot you want it to be. Sriracha actually is not very hot. You can also add sili if you like, the small sili. You bring the mixture to a boil and you set this aside, okay? Don't make it very thick because as it cools down, it will thicken some more, okay? So this is good. Remember the eggs that we made, okay? What I want you to do is roll this up like this. Uh, this is probably like five five sheets and then you shred it See That's the reason why see it's very nice and fine But as I said uh, you can uh, Slice it any way you want to So you can just use scrambled eggs and then you just chop it. Okay. I have many recipes to share with you if you're interested, please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded i will show you how to wrap this okay this one by the way for this recipe uh since our lumpia wrapper here is a little bit thin i usually put two layers but i do it this way i don't put one on top of the other i just do that see okay then i start with uh any green that you have I, will, I have here some uh, romaine and then we have the filling as I said my mother's version is very simple 
there are uh, versions that uses the seaweed and some a noodle which they fry you can also do that but uh, this is how we do it at home very simple very easy and then we have ketchup okay and then we have the hot sauce okay and then we have yansui or cilantro or coriander some use kinchai I don't like kinchai so I don't use kinchai and then you have peanuts you should put lots of peanuts all right and then we have the egg okay then we wrap it by holding the sides okay we roll it like this see and you get plastic okay this is how my mother used to serve us our lumpia so what we do is we wrap our own lumpia we can put in what condiment we want we can put in also uh, we determine how much peanuts or how much eggs that we want to put in and we also if you don't like there are members of the family who don't like uh, yansui then they don't put it in and some like to eat it only with a filling so you are free to make your own so this is how it's served at home